What's up, man? Hey, hey. Good afternoon. This is Billy at Heights Gunsmithing. We're stippling the grip on this Springfield XD. This is going to improve the looks of the gun. It's going to make it unique, and it's also going to make the gun much more functional by eliminating the texturing that was on the back, and we're providing our own texturing and grip with the stippling. Just for ideas of what we're doing, this is what we started off with. I know this is a Glock, but they actually have the same patterning on the back. And you can see what we've done in our first step is we've ground down all of the texturing that it previously had. The reason we do that is when we get the stippling, it looks a lot better and it's going to perform a lot better if it's all on an even plane. I personally like the smaller dots myself. I started a little bit on the back and I did the front as well so you can see what we've got going on. And this is essentially what the grip is going to look like on our panels. We're not going to do the whole grip of this gun. I'm just going to do the original paneling, the front panel here, the side panels, and we'll also show how to lay out and do the front pattern for your finger rest. So what we've done is I used a Dremel tool and I didn't really cut a lot of the grip down. I just smoothed up what was already there, as you can see. Because if I started to stipple on this, the stippling would try to follow the curves and lines and you would still see them through the stippling which A doesn't look good and B it's going to create a lot of little small pressure points on your hand which are going to hurt and also they're going to hinder your grip as well so now that we've got our texturing, you know, our, uh, texturing off we've got our outside layer or outside lines laid out we're going to go ahead and start filling in and what we've got here is just a little soldering iron and I used a little teardrop tip because it's angled and I can hold it like a pencil and what I do is I just follow the pattern I've laid out this particular pattern is not really square it's like a staggered pattern if you look closely you can see where I have the line laid out and the next layer is staggered it's kinda like when you make a pyramid shape so you can you can see closely I'm actually alternating like I'll put a circle halfway between two other circles and you don't want to leave the iron on there for too long for several reasons one the idea of stippling is not that you're pushing material down and creating a pocket you're actually what you're trying to do is you're cratering the material away so as you put the hot iron on the, the polymer it's going to melt what it touches but it doesn't dissolve the polymer it's actually going to push it out the sides and where it pushes it out the sides it looks like little volcano tops and that's what gives you your texturing if you hold it too long the tops will raise and then they'll roll back over because you displaced way too much material and it stayed hot too long so I want to do it in short little even strokes and I just kind of tap the frame and then move on to the next hole and we can keep going and we'll go ahead and finish up the whole frame. Stippling has been great for race gun shooters, particularly in USPSA and IDPA, because it gives you a better grip on the gun. And the idea, if you've got better grip and better handle on the gun, you can manipulate it better and get less time on target and more hits in alpha zone. You're creating more surface area by creating craters. If your hands are sweaty, water will fill the craters and you won't be contacting as much of the water as you will the gun. In a, in a normal situation, the cratering that we're making on the outside of the this individual stipples is got a lot of bubbles and it's porous. It's like grabbing a, a rock. It's got a lot more texture than if you were grabbing, let's say, something really smooth like a marble or a bar of soap. Stippling's also great aesthetically. You can change up the gun and make it individual to you with like stripes or starbursts or other designs or logos even, but ultimately just stippling a straight area does improve the look of the gun entirely and what we've done here is we've done the front grip section of this XD we've cut down the original texturing and we stippled it and it already looks a lot better it's gonna feel better in our hands of course anyone can go get a soldering iron and go to town on the gun but you're gonna see a huge difference between somebody that's done this in their garage and someone that's done it professionally